by TBC. What's the deal? So I've already gave my prediction on who I think was will win the super heavyweight uh, gold medal in Rio this summer. Um, I went with Philippe Herkovic from Croatia. Just like his size, you know, he's the closest thing to a Klitschko that I've seen from the amateur guys. But, well, you can add Daichko in there too. But I'm a, today I'm going to talk about Tony Yoka because just a few months ago he won the um, the World Amateur Championships in Qatar. And he went through a gauntlet to get that medal, man. Um, He beat my favorite this year, Philippe Herkovic, in the quarters. And Herkovic, look, he just looked, he didn't look how he looked in the World Series of Boxing and other tournaments I've seen him. He looked kind of slow and looked very hittable, man. He wasn't leaning back. He didn't have that Vitaly Klitschko style that I've seen him have. He just seemed real lumbering. He looked kind of heavy. He was wearing a shirt, you know, the little blue tank top. But he looked kind of heavy, man. Didn't look, I hope he doesn't look like this in the games. But anyways... Yoka just had faster hands. He was slipping his shots. He was landing good body work. He was pushing uh, Herkovic back when he needed to. He just outpointed him, you know. And I, I actually gave it to um, I actually gave it to Yoka. Then the next fight, he beat Joe Joyce, who was a strong Britain fighter. He's kind of lumbering, but he's very strong. You know, he's about six five, two fifty, strong as hell. No fat on him. Seen him fight in the World Series of Boxing. Seen him beat. Um, some of the guys I like in the World Series of Boxing. He's very tough. He's very strong. Um, doesn't have the fastest hands, but you know, for a three, four round amateur fight, he does bring the heat. And he was out, he was he was able to, to beat Joyce in the second round of that fight. Joyce seemed like he wobbled him, and Yoka seemed a little bit tired, but he withstood everything and he stayed in there and outpointed and outlanded uh, Joyce. I'm actually watching the the Herkovic Yoka fight again because I can't believe Herkovic lost to him. Turned it down. Then. Um, and then he went into the final round and he beat Ivan Daichko. And Daichko is a lot of people's favorite this summer for the Olympics. Um, I actually seen Daichko get knocked the hell out against uh, Majidov. And Majidov is another favorite that I'm going to be talking about. But um, he was able to beat Daichko. You know, Daichko is a, a tough guy to deal with because of his length. He's about 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, and he's bouncing on his feet and he uses a jab. And he's, you know, he can punch hard and he has a decent chin. I've seen him get knocked out, but shit, he got knocked out against the guy who was uh, a lot of people's number one in Majidov. So, and that was a few years ago. So Daishko, you know, I can see why he would be a favorite for some people because of his, his length and his reach and his skill and his toughness. Um, you know, but Yoko was able to outpoint him. He was able to land the cleaner shots. Um, he beat everybody, man. I, I don't think none of these were gift decisions. He, Yoko beat everybody. You know, 2010, he beat Joseph Parker in the Summer Youth Olympic Games. Um, and he's already fought Herkovic from 2010. He's lost to Roberto uh, Camarelli, who's won three consecutive medals at super heavyweight and also a gold, a bronze and a silver. Um, he was stopped, like I said, you know, and um, Yoga has been stopped by uh, Mamagod Omarov. That was 2012. And he got stopped by Irislandi Savan, who was a lot of people's favorite this summer to uh, win the heavyweight uh, gold medal, at least to medal. You know, so but all of these were four or five years ago. So Yoka is, you know, he's getting a lot better, you know, and a lot of these matches, I'm saying they took place when he was 17, 18, 19 years old. Now he's 23. He's coming in more into his grown man strength. So I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to stay amateur, if he's going to turn pro. I have no idea. Um, but what I do know is he is one of the guys is going to is going to have a, a, a good shot at winning a medal probably gold if he can but you know it's, it's it's hard to duplicate beating herkovic and joyce and daichko it's going to be hard to duplicate that but he can get it done he's very accurate he has fast hands i like his tight high guard but sometimes he stays in it too much and then he'll let you get off then he'll try to get off sometimes he can slip and roll i just want to be him see a, i just want to see him be a little bit more slick with being six six you can use your jab sometimes you know make him miss slip punches i mean he'll slip but Sometimes he throws up the high guard a little bit too much for me, but Tony Yoka is definitely somebody you're going to have to keep an eye on this summer. And we'll see what he does after um, the games. I don't know if he's going to stay amateur or not, but he went through the gauntlet, man, in the World Amateur Championships held in Qatar. So I got to give him his props. YTBC, I'm out.